Hey, I'm Jen Thoden, and welcome to another episode of The Jen Thoden Show, where you can learn how to be your most confident, stylish, and happy self. Just recently, I received an email from uh, one of my readers who I happened to be doing a color analysis on, and this woman is, I believe, about 50, and she had confided in me that uh, you know, she was out to, you know, improve herself and to uh, make changes, to make herself or help herself feel more beautiful, which is awesome, because she was looking in the mirror and feeling unhappy with how she looked. And she had said that she felt very sad and that she had cried when she was kind of looking at her um, older skin and noticed the imperfections and the wrinkles and was just really down on herself and then she felt guilty about about that so I'm not going to obviously share that person's name because she, she shares me very personal with me but I I am going to share this this with you because it really hit um, you know it really touched my heart and really resonated with me because I believe that a lot of us feel that exact same way and especially when we start getting into our you know middle age and we start getting into our late 30s and on up we start seeing those changes in ourselves that we, we may not be so thrilled with and I mean it's one of the things I in some ways inspired me to create um, my blog and and my products and my services is to help women feel more like themselves and to really uncover that authentic style that's within all of us and within you to really bring that beauty out and to feel better about ourselves. But ultimately, that's just cosmetic, right? And here's the reality of things. If you think about it, you know, we, we, we play this comparison game, don't we? We all do it. Whether we like to admit it or not, we do, right? You know, oh, that person is so much prettier than I am. Um, you know, her life must be so much better than mine. Or that person's house is so much nicer than mine. Or I wish I could be a little thinner, a little younger, a little taller, blonder, darker, whatever it is. And we play this game with ourselves all the time because somehow we think that we'll be happier if we uh, look different and in our opinion, better than what we are right now. And I want you to think back, I, I'll tell you, I, is, I mean, I do the same thing, by the way. We're not perfect, we can't control our thoughts, right? So, of course, I want to work on myself and be a little trimmer and a little bit better shape. And yes, I get my hair highlighted and you know put makeup on for the video. I mean, of course, we all do these things to help ourselves look better and feel better about ourselves. But that doesn't mean that we're going to be a happier version of ourselves. In fact, I can tell you that even though I would, I, I, I look at myself in the mirror as well and think, oh man, I do the whole little tightening game with you know, it'd be nice if I didn't have so many lines, or it'd be nice if my jawline wasn't starting to to come down to the earth. <laughs> And, but that's not gonna make me a happier person. In fact, I have to say that I am probably happier now at 42 than I have ever been when I was in my teens and in, I guess, the, the, the height of the beauty of youth, right? I can think back to when I was 13, 14, 15, 16 years old, when I probably had beautiful skin and that you know youthful glow and a much tighter body just from being young and, and being an athlete, and I was not any happier than I am right now. I, just because I was younger and, and prettier doesn't mean that I was a happy person. I mean, the teens were miserable, right? And uh, there's no way that I would go back to, to being that age. I'm 42. I'm divorced. I'm in a wonderful relationship now. I have two awesome children and one stepson and um you know i i wouldn't change anything i'm i'm perfectly happy right now and that has zero to do with my appearance 
uh, my hips, my bottom, <laughs> you know, the quality of my skin, none of that because I am who I am right now. And we would all do ourselves a great benefit of just accepting ourselves as we are today because there are some things we cannot control. We can control a little bit about of our appearance, right? And we can, but we can't control aging. We can take care of ourselves and love ourselves and, and take care of our health and take care of our body and our physical, physical, physical shell, really. But we can't control it. And so there's no sense in playing this comparison game of, oh, I wish I was taller or I wish I was younger because those things just aren't going to happen. We're going to get older and our bodies are going to change as they're going to change. And the best thing that we can do is to love and respect ourselves and to take care of ourselves, not give up. We don't give up on ourselves, right? Just be, you know, we can accept that we're aging, but it doesn't mean we give up on ourselves. It means that we respect ourselves and we love ourselves and we take good care of ourselves so that we feel good about ourselves, have the energy to have a life that we can live and love and be excited about. And to be an example for the people that are following us growing up. You know, I have a teenage daughter. I don't want her to be overwhelmed with her appearance. I want her to love herself just as she is. It's the perfect self that she is right now. And I think I'm doing a good job. If you ever met Mindy or you ever see me write posts about Mindy, she's an exceptional being. She's just full of life and love and self-confidence and self-awareness and it just blows my mind. I forget who I was listening to. Um, I listen to a lot of self-development and personal development stuff and I like to share it obviously. And this one particular analogy really resonated with me. And it's, you know, imagine you, you, you as two, an adorable two or three year old. Okay. So just, you know, imagine it's your own child maybe, or, um, if you, it doesn't really matter if you had children or not, but imagine an adorable version of you. So if you're a man, it's a little boy. And if it's, if you're a woman, it's a little girl, two or three years old, adorable, cute little pigtails or cute little corduroy jumper or whatever, it, you know, just put a little, imagine an adorable little hairdo and adorable little clothes. And just, you just want to pick them up and love them, <laughs> right? I mean, pretend the child's perfect and there's no tantrums involved. <laughs> We've all been there, right? Now, if that little child came up to you, adorable, big, bright eyes, would you, would you cry because that child isn't maybe as beautiful or as pretty as a child you saw over there? It wouldn't even occur to you, would it? Would you tell that child that they're ugly or, oh, you need to lose some weight. I I'll love you when, you when you've lost 10 pounds. Would you do that, right? Can you imagine that that is you? And you deserve the same level of love and respect that you would give your little two or three or self you. You should love yourself as you are right now. If the doctor says to you that your adorable two or three year, year old self uh, is a little bit unhealthy in, in their weight, you wouldn't starve that child. You wouldn't deny them food or reprimand them for being overweight. You would ask, how can, what can I do to help this child learn how to be healthy long-term so that this person can make healthy choices and be the best that they can be? That's what you would say. That is you. That is you. So when we get on this scale and we beat ourselves up for putting on two pounds and, or we beat ourselves up because we didn't, you know, eat as healthy as we were supposed to, or, 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 you know, we look in the mirror and we put ourselves down because we're not as pretty as we wish we were, or we're not as young or, or whatever it is that, that we think we should be. I'm not saying that we don't work on ourselves to improve ourselves and to improve our health, but I am saying, to love ourselves and love yourself as you are right now, to respect yourself enough to know the difference between hating yourself and trying to improve yourself because you don't deserve anything but the best, the best love and appreciation and respect that you can give yourself. 
So if you've gotten to a point in your life that you've given up because you think there's nothing better, you don't deserve that either. Neither does that little two or three year old self of you, right? You wouldn't give up on that child. You don't give up on yourself. You think, how can I be a better version of myself? What can I do to improve myself, to be a happier person, to be a more confident and more beautiful person? And a lot of that starts from the inside out. So I may post a lot about style and, and, and you know colors, because I love all those things. But a lot of your beauty comes from the inside because nothing is more attractive and more beautiful than someone that owns themselves as they are right now. It doesn't mean that they're not going to the gym every day. It doesn't mean that they don't have goals to be a certain weight. But if you love yourself right now and you own yourself right now, there is nothing that is more beautiful than that. And that's how you should feel about yourself every single day because you are beautiful. I don't have to see you to know that. You are a beautiful person inside and out. And that is what I want you to remember every single day when you look at yourself in the mirror. If you like this content, please visit my blog at genthone.com. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video.